Well, time for this week's pickup video. Uh, this past week, I went to uh, Warren, Michigan on business. And while I was in the area, I visited a couple game stores. One was a recommend recommendation by my good friend Kenrick, who does the Turtle Flakes podcast and the Retro Junkie Super Show, which is a network I'm on. Anyway, the first game store I visited up there was a store by the name of Destiny Games. They're over in Canton, Michigan on Ford Road. And this is a really awesome store. There's a lot of nice stuff in there. Prices aren't really too bad. But here's what I picked up there. I added a lot of games to my Intellivision collection when I went to Destiny Games. So the first Intellivision game I picked up there was Thin Ice. It's kind of like a cross between Pengo and Kicks, where you basically got this penguin that's skating around on the ice, and you have to encapsulate one of the other penguins to get the ice to drop out from under him, to capture him. All the while, you got to avoid this seal that's running around. If the seal catches you, he bounces on his nose and bounces you off the screen, which is pretty funny to watch. But this is a really fun game. It's pretty cool. Next one I picked up was Ice Trek. I got to read the instruction manual on this one because I have no clue what I'm doing when I'm doing this game video. So I got to figure out what I'm supposed to do on this one. It looks pretty cool though. And the next one, a classic arcade game that I love, Venture. Where you basically run around these different little dungeons and uh, rooms to collect the prizes out of it. Uh, play the game a lot in the arcade. This port's in television is actually really nice. It's not bad at all. It runs really smooth. I'm pretty impressed with it. But then the next one I picked up was Pinball. Because I love uh, video pinball games. And this is actually a lot of fun. It's, it's a really neat pinball game for the Intellivision. It's not bad at all. And the last one, I've already, I've already got this game, but I picked this up for my buddy Vip. He wanted a microsurgeon. So I picked him up one. You know, basically you're this little capsule or craft that's running around inside of a human body trying to fight off uh, bugs and infection and tumors and things. And if you actually play the game with two controllers, it's a little easier because one controller you can use to move your ship. And the other controller you can use to fire your uh, your three different weapons. You have a antibiotic, a penicillin, and something else. I can't remember what it was. But it makes the game a little bit easier to play when you can actually run, move and actually shoot at the same time. So that's a that's a cool game to have. The last thing I picked up at Destiny Games was a boxed Atari Jaguar game, I War. Basically, it's kind of like a battle zone game, but you're set inside of a, a computer. And you have to collect these little data pods. And as you collect the data pods, you can advance to different rooms inside the computer and, and have different obstacles to battle, like you know, bouncing platforms and missile creatures and other little tanks and stuff. If you like battle zone, this, this game is pretty much like battle zone. It is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm really enjoying it. Case is a little messed up. It's got a little divots out right here, but nah, I don't care. It's still cool to find another box Jaguar game. I'm slowly building up my collection. Then the next game store I went to, this is by the recommendation of my buddy Kenrick, was Retutaku Video Games. This uh, store has nothing but pretty much all import games in there from Famicom. Mega Drive. Uh, they have some Game and Watch stuff in there. Uh, they got some uh, Famicom stuff. All kinds of neat things. So I picked up some Famicom games. The first one I picked up, made by Taito, which is a racing game. It, it kind of plays like Outrun. It's pretty. It's a lot of fun. It's not bad. Then the next one I picked up was. Baltron, which is a side-scrolling shoot-'em-up game. Uh, I just picked it up because I like the art on the cartridge. I figure it might be a halfway decent shooter, but it's kind of average. It's not all that impressive. And of course, I picked up Frontline. 
plays really nice on the Famicom. I, I'm pretty impressed with it. A lot of fun. And of course I picked up Battle City, which is based on the arcade game. Pretty much plays just like the arcade game. Uh, basically you've got a tank and you're trying to defend this little uh, base right here from these other tanks. You can destroy the walls and as the levels progress the tanks get harder. you got to take multiple shots to destroy them. It's a, it's a really fun tank game. And of course, in order for me to play these Famicoms, I found a Famiclone while I was up there. I got this at uh, Destiny Games. And it plays these Famicom cartridges. But it also has its own built-in games. There's like seven games in here. And they're pretty much rip-offs of arcade games like Popeye and Battle City and uh, Joust. The funniest one on here that I like to play is called Air Umbrella. A video right here. You basically have this guy that has this bubble umbrella above his head, and he flaps his one arm to fly around the screen. It is freaking hilarious. It cracks me up every time I play it. But it's actually a pretty decent game. It's a lot of fun to play. So, pretty cool. I'll probably do a video on this later on and go through all seven games as a uh, review video of this little family clone. And then I went to some thrift stores while I was up in the area. And my best find at the thrift store, my only find at two or three different thrift stores I hit, was a Blackthorn for my 32X. This was $5. Awesome. So my 32X collection is slowly growing. I gotta read the book on this because I have no clue how to play it. As you can tell by the video. But it's a neat little game. And then the last thing I got, this was given to me by my buddy Kenrick up there. He donated it to my show. It's the Atari Flashback 2. Now I believe this is the Revision B version because uh, the Quadron doesn't talk when you turn it on. I think the Revision C, it talked. So I think this is a Revision B board. It could be an A. I don't know. I'll take it apart and look at it. But I might, I'll either use this as a prize for the podcast or I may take it apart and hack a uh, Atari cartridge slot on it like I did on my original one I had before I sold it. Anyway, that's all the pickups for this week. Next week I'm heading to Illinois, the land of Lincoln. See what kind of stuff I can find out there. So thanks for watching.